Bantry Bay, Cape Town, South Africa, an affluent coastal suburb along the Atlantic seaboard, adorned with gorgeous views of the crystal blue waters below and Table Mountain. Today, we are showcasing an exclusive listing, a prestigious family home set over five levels, offering a harmonious blend of opulence and functionality. This villa is more than just a home. It is a testament to the extraordinary. With its unparalleled design, beautiful ocean views, and an array of luxurious amenities, such as a home theater, home spa, gym, a full bar, and so much more. This exceptional residence sets a new benchmark for luxury living. Welcome back to another episode on Alia Homes. Let's begin. All right, guys, so we're gonna start at the front of the property at this beautiful entrance outside the front door. In front of me, we have the front entrance door, which leads from the driveway, which can fit two cars, and the garage, which ha can have two cars. And I just really love this effect that they have there of the off shutter concrete, the pink glass, and the little cover walking in. Now, coming through, glass railings leading up to the house, beautiful garden to my right, which is actually planted on the third level if I'm not mistaken, Chris, and it just comes up and it goes through the house, which we'll continue seeing as we go down the staircase. And I just want to point out one more little thing. To my left is a staff access stairway, which wraps around the entire house all the way to the bottom, which gives access to every level, which we'll continue to see. Now, coming up this beautiful staircase into the front door, as you can see, it's a beautiful black cladded front door, pivot door, and stepping in, take my sunnies off, We've got a bridge designed into the house with these glass railings, solid oak flooring throughout the house, and we have a lot of exposed concrete. So above me, we've got exposed concrete, and we'll also see a mixture of an off shutter effect concrete too. To my left, we have a pink skylight, bringing in some interesting light colors to the area and shining down below onto the artwork. And to my right, we have this other skylight. However, it's a little bit different. It has a chandelier light feature hanging from it, which spans four levels of this house through the central staircase. And it's so unique. It's so original. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this on the channel. I really love it. Now, coming this way, the stairway does lead down, which we'll talk about in a moment. And the first entrance level actually leads up to the garage and a home office right at the top of the house. Beautiful open plan office design, solid oak table that's been polished nicely. We've got a luxury cladding on the wall behind with the warm LEDs, exposed concrete above. We've got another ceiling with some down lighting and just check these sliding doors, which open up to that view. I mean, imagine working here from your home office. You've got a coffee machine behind me as well. Some beautiful floating cupboards. Make a coffee and watch that view. Love it. Beautiful seating area and it also has a full bathroom. It's completely clad in a light hasem marble, which is always, always quite timeless. And in front of me, we have this floating vanity design with a black stone top, and I love the matte black faucets. And in front of me, the water closet. Now, this office does get a little bit better. So we've got some bench seating over here by the window, and check this out. Stepping on outside to your home office's private deck, this space is insane. You've got these glass rails, so you've got a seamless panoramic view over the Atlantic Ocean. I can hear the waves crashing. I can see them crashing on the boulder outcrops below. I love the exposed roof design that they have, the exposed concrete, which cantilevers, and the cutout skylights above. And you've got awesome seating options. You've got some seating over there, and you've got these sun lounges as well, which is awesome. Some luxurious cladding. This is a very tranquil spot. You can imagine during a very busy work day, you've got this fantastic space come outside and relax with a beautiful view. Now, 
a few listing details about the house. It has five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, space for four cars, and is sitting on a lot size of 742 square meters. It is listed at 138 million rand. That price does include VAT, and at today's current exchange rate, it is approximately $7.4 million. And if you want a few more listing details, you can find that in the description below. All right, guys, let's continue with the tour. Coming this way. Now, I've seen a lot of staircases on this channel, and this one particularly, is insane. It beats them all by a mile. It's this concrete floating, it's a floating concrete design and it's clad in a European white oak. It's magnificent with the glass rails and this insane light feature which spans the entire volume. It's crazy, it's so grand and it really brings the house together as well. For me, it's one of my favorite parts of the house is this staircase. I find myself, we've been here for a couple of days now and I'm just walking up and down it, looking at the different features. It's got so much to offer, like behind me over here. So, just part of the staircase, adding another touch of luxury, another space to the house. We've got this glass channel on the floor with foliage growing below from the, the gardens below us, growing into the house underneath this glass channel. This beautiful side table with these lovely artworks on top and the off shutter concrete, which you know I absolutely love, and the light coming in, just a beautiful area. And let's just go down one more. Actually, we're gonna go down two more. This is the primary suite level, which we're gonna get to later in the tour. Look at this beautiful staircase, just continuing the natural stone rocks, light coming in. I love these cavities where they have the artwork, the exposed concrete, the light, everything. It just marries perfectly. And now, coming to the open plan living area. But above me, we've got the exposed bridge, exposed concrete bridge, beautiful landing area, high volume ceilings on this level, which is fantastic. Opening up the space, making it feel super grand. We'll get there. Behind me, we've got the storage room, elevator access, and coming down beautiful natural stone flooring throughout this level. I want us to go into the kitchen first. So we've got fridge freezer, beautiful white cabinetry, coffee station, and behind these doors are another set of doors which open up, close the space, just keeping it seamless and elegant if you want to have it closed off. You've got your two ovens over here, beautiful kitchen island with a waterfall effect on either side, bar seating, got warm lighting below, love the sink matte faucets, and always love these hoses, uh, really cool. Now, coming this way, we've got a stove top, more beautiful cabinetry, and I love the windows behind. They do actually open up over there, that one opens, and this one opens, bringing in some fresh air, lovely natural light. And above me, we have this awesome, luxurious, wooden cladded ceiling with the LED strips. We've got down lighting. And there is surround sound throughout the house. I don't think I mentioned it on the other floor, um, but there is surround sound in all the bedrooms, all the entertainment areas. It's great, even the kitchen. Now, coming this way, we have a chef's kitchen and pantry area. I just wanna show you this. It does completely close off for privacy if you have guests around and you wanna entertain. This is really cool. Very large walk-in pantry and a very large walk-in fridge, right? This house was built for entertainment and also a family environment. It just marries the two perfectly. As you'll continue to see, we've got a dishwasher, there's another dishwasher over there. We've got two sinks, an oven, an ice machine. We do have another ice machine downstairs at the bar, fridge freezer, and access to the service staircase, which comes down to this level, all the way from the top, like I saw earlier. Now, Coming this way, out of the chef's pantry, I want us to head across to the dining room. Come with me. Just look at these high volume ceilings. I want to point these out. We've got the steel columns. They've just painted them in this gray color. And I just think it's really cool how they've kept them here exposed, keeping to the industrial effect that they have throughout the house, like the exposed concrete. Beautiful dining room table, solid, it's set beautifully on this corner of the house. Lovely lighting coming in in the morning through this section, which opens up to a little Zen garden area. But it's very important as it channels air through the house 
but also a, a ton of natural light in the morning as the sun rises on that side. And as it travels throughout the day, we've got these massive windows bringing in sunlight to the space here, and then it will continue the sun to set in front of us, bringing in natural sunlight, that golden glow into the room here, which I can't wait to show you guys at sunset what it looks like in this space. Beautiful light feature above the dining room table. And I just wanna draw our attention here for a moment. We have a couple of iPads throughout the house and on the wall of every level. And this house is fully automated. You can control the lighting, the air conditioning, look at your security cameras, open up the front door, your security gates, control the TVs. I mean, it's pretty cool. So it's fully automated with these iPads, which come with the house. Very cool. Now, I want us to go this way into the lounge area. I just wanna point out this shelving that we have here for when you're entertaining guests at the dining room table, you can lay some stuff up. You can even have a buffet here, for example, coming into this lovely lounge area. Behind me, we've got the off shutter concrete wall with little window cavities, which I think is really cool. The beautiful floating shelving with the terrazzo marble top that leads to this massive picture window and an awesome fireplace, which at nighttime is fantastic. Lovely furnishings. I think this house has some of the most luxurious furnishings which I've seen. They're beautiful, marries perfect with the colors, and they are super comfortable, I'd have you know. And it leads outside, sliding doors, we're gonna get there. I want us to go this way first, to an outdoor lounge area, outdoor formal dining, which is a beautiful table, fully equipped, barbecue station, gas barbecue, we've got a fridge back here, and a sink. Off shutter again, we've got these privacy slats, which we'll see on the primary suite as well. And just look how comfortable this outdoor furnishing looks. It looks like Roche Bebois. I'm not certain. I've literally turned every pillow and couch over to find a label to give credit to whoever designed this beautiful piece, but I can't find. So if you guys know, let us know in the comment section below. Now, coming this way, beautiful wooded cladding ceiling above me. We've got speakers as well outside. Coming out into the sunshine. Oh my goodness, look at that view. Look at that view. Incredible, beautiful lap pool heated in front of me, infinity edge overlooking the ocean. This is a fantastic space. We've got sun lounges in front of me as well, just facing that way and the sunsets right there. I can hear the waves crashing on the boulder outcrops below. I can, I can see them. I can literally see, like they're in front of me, the waves crashing. I can hear birds chirping, the butterflies flying around. It's spring right now. And you know, summer's on its way. And I can just imagine sitting here, enjoying the space throughout the day, throwing a barbecue for family and friends in the evening. The kitchen just serves this space so well. I think this is great. And for what you get in Cape Town, it's remarkable for what just 138 million Rand, it's only like $7 million. I mean, imagine this in Beverly Hills, Chris. We've been there, we've been to Beverly Hills, we've seen the houses. And you know, the house like this, you just like, if you just take it and put it on the hillside in Beverly Hills, probably looking at 25 million at least, maybe even 30 million. And you know what? Cape Town's better, you know why? Because of this. Cape Town tops LA, you've got this beautiful ocean, you've got one of the one natural wonders of the world behind us, this house sits on Table Mountain. This is incredible, absolute paradise. I'm in love. Now, I want us to head back inside and go to the powder room before we go to the entertainment level. I'll see you there. Coming back to the landing area of the living space, coming down the stairs, and I wanna to head to the powder room, which is just in front of me. And it's midway between these two levels as it serves the entertainment area and the, of course, the lounge, the dining area above, so it's so easy for your guests to access. 
continues into this secluded space where we have the powder room essentially and through here is the water closet and we have this black natural stone which continues i love the down lighting very cool light feature it feels like a very luxurious space coming in on in as you can see it's very large beautiful vanity station you've got your mirror and the matte black accessories now i'd like to head out of this room and head down to the entertainment area. Now this is where this grand staircase finally comes to an end, along with this light feature. I didn't even, I wish I knew the height in meters or feet so I could actually tell you. I'm not even gonna guess, but it's really, really large. As you know, uh, the, the ceilings have been high volume. This is fantastic. Beautiful little garden area here, creates some zen and tranquility for the space. The solid oak flooring continues. Last stop for the elevator as well. And as we step through into the entertainment area, we've got this walnut archway bringing us into this space just to set the tone for this area a little bit different to the rest of the house. It's got the darker tones, it's luxurious, and I can't wait to get started. So I wanna head this way first. Nice little seating area. We've got these mirror cabinets over here, which actually has service behind. Stepping into this magnificent home theater beautiful soundproofing leather cladding around with the warm LEDs. We've got mood lighting above, down lights, and the projector actually is controlled with a remote and it comes down automatically. Very large screen in front of me. And look at this furnishings. This also looks like Roche Babois. And please let us know in the comment section below if you know if, if you know who this is, um, I'm in, really interested to find out. Again, I literally took off all the cushions, flipped all the couches around to find labels, cannot find anything. Um, so yeah, please let us know in the comment section below if you do know. And I love the L shape that it's in and they're so comfortable. And the other little seating areas, really cool home theater. And also it does close off with this door, creating a private space. Now, coming this way, heading over here to the bar, the bar is cladded in this very unique walnut and brass cladding, and it just looks so cool. We've got the natural stone on top with a waterfall effect, the leather wrapped bar stools. We've got everything in here. It's fully, fully equipped. We have a sink, a dishwasher, ice machine, and two fridges. Coffee machine, this is fantastic. I love the little shelving that they have. Through this door is another little wine cellar, has some wine cabinetry in there. Again, really cool space for entertainment. Coming this way, we have a lovely entertainer's lounge with a beautiful pool table. It has outdoor seating as well to catch some sun, bring some fresh air into the space and a ton of natural light. Beautiful TV cabinetry over there. And it actually does continue. Let's step onto the deck outside. We've got a little bit of a seating area over here with some ocean views, glass railings, and just some more greenery, bring some tranquility to the space. And I love this retainer wall with the steel gabions with the slate inside. And they've actually done the, the, garden, the Zen garden above on the third floor, um, which we see from the elevator and the staircase. It's all planted on that, behind that uh, retainer wall. I think it's awesome. And from over here, we can see a little bit of the architecture. We have the off shutter concrete, and it just looks fantastic. You can see the grains of the wood, and of course, the ocean views. Now, let's step back on inside. Coming this way, there are three guest suites, as I mentioned, on this level, and I want us to go into this one first. Come with me. Stepping on into the first suite, beautiful oak staircase leads down into the main part of the bedroom. And immediately as I walked in, we've got this beautiful ocean view and the sea breeze is blowing in. But our first stop in this room is the ensuite. Let's head on inside. We have this Hessier light marble throughout this bathroom on the floor and the walls. Lovely walk-in shower, very nice water closet, also tucked away with the Hessier light marble. And this bathroom and the bathroom next door has these matte white accessories, not the matte black like we've been seeing. And we've got ocean views from the bathroom. So we've got these mirror slats and they're just like cut out in between so you can see the ocean in your bathroom. Dual vanity station, it's fantastic. Now, let's head on out of the bathroom and into the main part of the room. 
It's just gorgeous in here. I like the light tones, the white colors. It's all facing that view. Juliet balcony with the glass railing, so you have that seamless view. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got this actually really beautiful tree here as well, which is creating nice privacy for the home. I love it. Uh, and again, furnishings in this room are beautiful. Now, all the rooms do have TVs, and I want to point this out. Every room in the house, not just the bedrooms, denotes where the AC unit is, just with this embroidered AC, and I really appreciate that. I love that so much. So if you want to look inside the cabinet here, we've got the AC control panel for the room. Of course, you can control it on the iPads of the house and on the walls, and maybe you can download the app on your phone and control it, but if you don't have that to hand, you've got the AC units right there. Cool. Now, let's head out of this bedroom and check out the one next door. Stepping on in to the second guest suite on this level, and it's an, an exact reflection of the room next door. Beautiful white oak all the way down. Ocean views are phenomenal. En suite, the Hessia white marble, all around, you've got your water closet tucked away nicely. You've got some built-in cabinetry. And again, with this cut-out mirror designs, you've got the ocean view, dual vanity station, the matte white accessories. It looks gorgeous. Coming down into the room, again, sticking to the lighter colors, beautiful furnishings. Actually, I wanna talk about these chairs. I'm sure you saw it in the other room. It's like a hammock type chair. And I was just sitting in here yesterday, just like, I don't know, contemplating life, looking at my phone, doing some work and it's super comfortable, and it was just such a beautiful spot. I can see the boulder outcrops and boulder outcrops and the ocean crashing, and I'm just gonna sit again so you can get some context here. Because of these glass railings, it doesn't disturb your view at all. It's fantastic. So the doors open up all the way. It's lovely. Look how many butterflies there are. Come, let's get out of this room. Again, TV, AC control. Now, I wanna take us to the third bedroom of the house. And then we're going to explore a very special area. Stepping over this glass bridge, which I think is really cool. It shows the staircase below us because there is a fifth level, uh, which is like the first level, which is the gym area, which we'll see in a little bit. Stepping on inside, we've got the white oak flooring continuing. Beautiful bed. I love the white oak headrest that they have behind. Lovely built-in white cabinetry. We've got the TV little office space again ac embroidered on the wood with your ac control unit stepping into the ensuite where this one actually has a bath fully cladded all around with the hessia light marble dual vanity station we've got the matte black accessories which looks gorgeous contrasting nicely water closet and the walk-in shower matte black accessories and it's actually lifted up on this wooden deck giving it like a zen feel, pretty cool. Now, I wanna step out of this room. I wanna show you something, my favorite part of the home. Come with me. Stepping on outside to this gorgeous spa area, jacuzzi, seating, beautiful views. This is a phenomenal space. It's uh, decked beautifully with this teak decking. Gorgeous furnishings, and look at this. Phenomenal spa, heated. You know, let's get the jets on. We've got this wooden cladding around, which look, looks super luxurious with the LED warm lightings. And the view out of here is insane. At sunset last night, it was like a purple sunset. It was beautiful. The sun was like shining through this open cavity window into the space. You can just imagine sitting here with a glass of champagne, or maybe some herbal teas, and really like having a relaxing moment. This is super secluded from the rest of the home. It's a very exclusive spot. It fits in perfectly with the rest of this level. I love it. This is my favorite part of the home. I'd probably find myself sitting here most of the time, to be honest. I just want to come over here to talk about this area. So we've got behind you, Chris, is the service stairway, which leads all the way down from the top entrance of the home. And it goes past the kitchen and it does continue even further down to the gym area. And I love these gabby, steel gabions again, where they have the foliage growing over, making it super tranquil and making it feel more private, like you're already in the mountain. And remember, like we're in Bantry Bay. It's like a steep part of Lion's Head leading down to the coast. It's phenomenal how they build these houses. And these retainer walls are gorgeous. Like it could just be a simple wall, you know, they just need to get a retainer wall here. But they did, they go above and beyond that and they try make it more beautiful. And these steel gabions really do the job, especially with the growth afterwards. Now let's head 
back inside, get one more beautiful glimpse of that view and head down to the gym area. Coming down the staircase to the gym area, beautiful natural stone face wall going all the way down, lovely mood lighting. And I don't know if you can notice the footlights below me, just the warm LEDs and in the handrail as well. We've got this white wall contrasting with this natural stone and it's got these cave vibes and then it suddenly opens up into this beautiful, very well thought out gym area. Studio flooring, we've got your mirror wall over here with some seating. To my right, you've got a little kitchenette area with a coffee machine, you've got your sink. It's just done beautifully. And you've got the ocean views. These doors do open up to a lovely balcony with this green hedging, butterflies once again, of course, just creating privacy with the hedging and this fresh air flowing in. Now, what can you do in here? I mean, you can see the size of this space. If you've got a one running machine for now, but you can put a lot of gym equipment here. This is already installed for you for a boxing bag, which I think is brilliant. So there's so many things you can do in this space. Yoga mats, you can have another yoga section over here maybe if you've got more gym equipment over there. Through this door is actually the laundry room and a staff bathroom, another mirror, fantastic. And it also does have a full bathroom. Very luxurious full bathroom. You've got the Hessier light marble throughout. I love the luxury wooden cladding they have behind. Beautiful vanity station with the white mat accessories. Now, this house does have all the amenities I can think of. It literally ticks all the boxes. But if there are any that you can think of that this house doesn't have that you would like to see, drop it into the comment section below. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to be scratching your brains pretty hard to think of something because it literally has everything. The home theater, a spa, gym, bar, pool table, games room, oh, the deck, the pool. Is there anything else, Chris? I mean, like, it even has like the, the roof deck kind of thing from the home office. It literally has it all. Ocean views, mountain views, home automation, a lift, grand staircase. This is one of my favorite homes in Cape Town. Absolutely love it. And with that, it does finish this level and I'll see you upstairs at the primary bedroom suites. I'll see you there. All right guys, so now we're on the fourth level, the primary bedrooms level of the house. And I say primary bedrooms because there are two and we're gonna let you decide which one you choose. I know which one I choose and I'll let you know. So firstly, I've come out of the elevator, beautiful oak cladding again. And as I exit, we've got the entry to one of the rooms, which we'll get to in a moment, lovely seating area. And this oak flooring of course continues as you've seen throughout the house. Above me is actually the bridge from the entrance level leading to the office, which we saw earlier. And in front of me, we have this window encasement here, bringing in some fresh air from the Zen garden on the other side. Now, we know, I know we spoke about the pink glass earlier and it comes all the way down to here, just giving off a lovely pink reflection onto the dark uh, artwork. Now, again, I absolutely love this chandelier hanging down. I know I've talked about it so much, but it's so unique. Now, coming this way, I want us to head into the first bedroom. Stepping in to the first primary bedroom, this is currently being used as the owner's preferable suite, but to be honest, I think the other one is my favorite, and you'll see why. But either way, this is stunning. We've got the bed perfectly in the center, facing the ocean. Behind, we have the leather feature back wall and two floating bedside tables also wrapped in the same leather. I'm going to the bathroom in a minute. We've got the oak flooring, of course the air conditioning. We've got surround sound in here as well. Another window bringing in some fresh air and also views of the Zen garden that they have below. Nice office space, lovely seating area. And just check this out. These doors open up almost all the way 
and you step out into your private deck with a Zen garden. Remember, we're on the fourth floor and there's a little Zen garden space for the owner to enjoy. Lovely little seating area here. Slats for privacy, separating from the neighbors beyond. And I just wanna take a walk through this beautiful space. Glass railings all around, a plethora of indigenous plants here. The aromas are fantastic. It looks beautiful. We've got the ocean right there. I can hear the waves crashing. I can see the boulder outcrops and the sun is perfect. Tonight is going to be the most beautiful sunset. I absolutely love this house. And looking back, beautiful cladding above the primary bedroom. It looks great. Now, I'd like to go back inside and check out the ensuite. Stepping on into the ensuite, we've got Italian slate tiles throughout the flooring and the walls. Beautiful vanity station in front with a black stone and the waterfall effect. Two matte copper faucets, lovely mirrors with the LEDs around. We've got your down lighting. In front of me, we've got the walk-in shower, rain shower head above, and a terrazzo bench seating, which spans through the shower and underneath the sink area for shelving. And also you've got the handheld shower. I love the faucets that they have, the trimmings, and also behind you, Chris, is a door, which opens up to that private deck. I don't know if you wanted to swivel around and I open up, okay, yeah, you go for it. Look at that. So now you've got an indoor-outdoor shower experience which is fantastic. <laughs> I love that. Now, coming this way. So to my left, we have the water closet, which is nicely tucked away. Really cool. You've got curtains for privacy, but I just want to show you. Opens up to the fantastic view. And I like the wood that they've used with the black trimming on the handle. Actually, before I forget, these are cabinets, just so you know. All right, now stepping into the walk-in closet, dark stained wood, quite large in here. I love the LED strips that they've put inside the cavities, mirror just next to you, Chris, and check at this. So you've got lighting inside, which is awesome, but look at the depth of this closet, so cool. I think you could actually get two railings there. All right, now I'd like to, us to leave this primary suite and check out the next primary suite, come with me. So we've got the elevator access to my left, which I came out of. And these stairs go down to the open plan, living, dining, kitchen area. Come with me this way. Before we step in, through this door is actually a linen storage room. And beyond that, there's another door, which leads out to the staff stairway, which wraps around the house and goes down, and also the diesel generator room. Stepping on into the second primary bedroom. I want us to go this way first, look at the walk-in closet. Firstly, we've got a lovely makeup station, lovely mirror, LEDs around, down lighting, and a haste of white marble again. And just check out this walk-in closet. We've got the light wood, plenty of space for the LED inlays, really cool. Now, I wanna go this way to the bedroom. Coming into the ensuite first, check this out. We've got the haste of white marble cladded throughout this space. And before I go any further, a nice tuck-in sliding door to close off the space. Got your gowns, double vanity sp station. I love the white countertops and the white cabinetry below. Again, we've got your mirror cabinets, the haste of white marble behind, LED warm lighting around, and matte black faucets, which are awesome. We've got the water closet over here with a little wooden screen, walk-in shower with a Handheld over here, we've got the matte, matte black accessories, a little cavity in the wall, window which opens up, wooden bench seating. And I love that it's all glass, so you can have the ocean view. It's beautiful. Now, this is why I would choose this as the primary bedroom. Look at that bath, it's awesome. And it's raised on this wooden deck, which gives two effects. Firstly, it raises the vantage point, so you can have an ocean view. And the second thing is it gives the space a zen feel, which I love. And I love the matte faucets that it has. It's got a handheld. I think it's really cool. And it's also got a little space on the ledge there of the wooden slats for a champagne glass. Perfect. Now, let's head out back into the main part of the bedroom. Beautiful bed. I love the wooden feature wall behind with the, with the cladding 
two floating bedside tables, beautiful lamps, great space. And these doors actually open up a little bit further, opening up the space too. Another private deck. Got the privacy wooden screen to my right. Another entrance to the Zen garden, seating area, and the glass railings around. This is exquisite. I absolutely love this bedroom. I would love to know your thoughts on what you would choose as your primary suite. For me, the bath sells this room 100%. And with that, it does finish up this floor, and I'll see you downstairs for sunset. All right, guys, that does bring us to the end of another incredible episode here on Alia Homes, exploring this five-story villa here in Banshee Bay, Cape Town, South Africa. And I'd like to give another big thanks to the owners for inviting Alia Homes in to get this exclusively on the market for you guys. And another reminder, you can purchase this property for 138 million rand. And if you are interested in purchasing, just send me an email or a WhatsApp. My number and email are in the section below. And also, we would love to know your thoughts on the design of this house just leave a comment in the section below, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.